If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my club, Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. We are in Division 7, this is the start of Division 7, we've been doing alright, we've not been relegated since for a long time, we've not lost a game in a while either. Um, it's going to be a difficult transition into a higher division just because I know the caliber of player which I've been playing hasn't been that good compared to what I've played previously but um, also this will be the last episode you will see of the way I do the free agent opening now the way we do it usually is we just round up all three of them whack them together and put them into a draw uh, and hopefully get the best. Now that could mean mixing up positions. It could mean mixing up traits and whatnot, and even uh, position uh, positions, traits, and other things, which obviously doesn't get you the best um, type of player. So after this episode, we are going to do it with this episode alone, uh, and hopefully we can get some decent players added by it via the free agents. So in the first game, we actually lose one nil. It was a very difficult game. It was a very boring game. Um, he would take the ball, pass it around the back, and annoy the shit out of me, and it did frustrate me that game. So we do lose our first game at 1-0 against Bayer Leverkusen. We then come up against a very strong looking team with Gary Bonglaho, Amrabat, uh, Rabiola, who we've never heard of, Gorkouf, and a very solid defence with Alaba Kirchhoff and a few others. This guy was also very good, but there was a few chances in the game where I thought I'd be kicking ass. That didn't come to light and uh, unfortunately his keeper did make some wonderful saves. But my defence... Um, wasn't that wasn't that good in this session of Pez, I'm not going to lie to you, it was probably the worst you've seen here, letting him run straight on through and setting him up for a nice um, team pass across the area and make it 1-0 in the first half, I think that was, yeah, I think it was early on in the first half, um, which was quite annoying, and then he goes to on to extend the lead, with the, he was doing this very, very close dribbling and also flicking the offensive tactics up quite a lot, so he made it 2-0 and uh, before half-time, and then there was no looking in the rest of the game for myself. I've no idea how I've hit this goal drought of two games, but it's actually happened. So in two games, we've not scored a goal, even though we do have one of the best strikers on the game in Benzema. He got held, held us on possession. We had five shots on target, but his keeper was ridiculous. And um, we go on to lose our second game, a 1-0 loss, a 2-0 loss. And it's looking like relegation could possibly happen unless we get our ass in gear and do actually change things around. I was also having a look because the data pack 2 has hit the game now. Um, I don't know if it's a data pack 2 or actually the update. There's been some new game faces, new stadiums, um, new teams as well. And also some nice additions to my club. Now, if you looked at my club, tournaments are actually open now, but they are on a time basis. Now, I was going to do uh, recording this session for two episodes. But I think tomorrow I am actually going to go and give the tournaments a bash and see how far we do actually get in there. So in this game, in the dying part of the uh, of the game, he makes a huge mistake. I went for a controlled shot. Looking back on it now, really wish, I really wish I had gone for a lob shot. I probably had more chance of going in. Next, we went for a tackle with PK. It wasn't that much of a rough tackle, but it did earn him a yellow card. And I did not realise that that was actually his second yellow card and he got sent off. Now, suspensions do not carry over. This was the first time I've actually seen it. The only thing which carries over is injuries. Directly after that, he does do a nice drilled cross in the area um, to a free man, probably where PK should have been. And Iturbe does manage to score the only goal of the game. And that was honestly like an exaggerated uh, thing as well. I'm not actually taught like that sometimes. So we uh, whack the free agents up to see how we do. And I really shouldn't have done it. I should have looked at their, uh, the possibilities. But we did land on a gold ball for a change, which was something I was not expecting. Uh, we go past the first one and the elite, and we land on the gold ball. Now, it's this time of week, and I, I know you guys get excited as well for the huge agent openings. And fingers crossed that will happen. We get a goalkeeper, Padelli, who is going to get instantly got rid of anyway. As you see there, you, you now got the choice to add him to the squad straight away or add him to my club members. So we added him to the my club members and then we went and got rid of him. So guys, if you are enjoying this episode and the series itself, make sure you drop a like rating. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel as well. And uh, fingers crossed the tournament progress tomorrow will be a lot better than this episode has been for me.